Like, they weren't supposed to be there. But I'm just looking like maybe it's some type of production going on. But why would they be at this party at 7 o'clock in the morning with grown people? Like, why why would they be here? So I was just like, okay, whatever. Like, <laughs> But then when I'm looking in this corner, this corner, this person laid out, and I'm looking like, what's going on? Then I'm seeing, like, Instagram models or whatever. I'm like, oh, hey. So I'm kind of getting distracted, feeling, like, kind of comfortable. Like, she's here. Oh, my gosh, she's here. And then I see P. Diddy, you know, walking through the house, like, with his eyes on me. Like, you know, like... Is this, you know, you see, like, are are you agreeing with this? Is this is, and I don't. Now, mind you, I still got my friend out there. So I walked out of the house and I'm telling her, like, oh my God, bitch, like, this nigga is, this is, oh my God, you should, she like for real. But I'm just like, I'm not even tripping, like, oh well, like, this nigga's weird, like, you know? So I'm really looking at the situation, like, I don't even want to be involved in this type of stuff because once I see something, I can't get it out of my mind. And I'm like a hypochondriac. Like, I keep on having flashbacks about it. So, whatever. So, of course, I come out, and then here he goes again. And another rapper, well-known rapper, comes and starts feeling on me like, hey, you. So now it just seems like everybody is faded at this point. They're either drunk or on all the drugs, obviously, with this house music. So now I just feel, like, trapped in. Like, I don't like it. And I know the devil when I see it. Because by me being so spiritual and tapped in, I know when something is not right, I'm not judging, but I just don't want to be a part of it because how am I going to get out of this shit? Like, I'm already here, and then I heard conversations or whatever, and then P. Diddy was like, that's the one that I want. That's I want her. So now I feel like, you know, they plotting on me, like, did you bring me here on purpose? Like, is this the, you know, producer you was talking about? And I came here specifically with the Prince to rub elbows with people, to network for um, the music week. But then I put two and two together like, the Prince have been saying your life is never going to be the same. You're going to be happy. Somebody's expecting you. And I just feel like that was the time that I was going to get sex trafficked or, you know, drugged or, or, or something like that. And then they kept trying to make me... Like, I've been around celebrities before. If a rapper wants you or somebody wants you, they're not going to do it. They're going to send somebody else to do it. So if a waitress is coming or another girl or a pretty girl or a guy, they'll sick somebody on you. Like, take this drink. Do this. Do that. And then you just feel eyes on you, like, watching to see if you're going to do it, when you're going to do it. So I already know what time it was. And it's crazy because I had to leave that place. In my last interview, I told you I had to escape. I had to leave from the prince because he was telling me we was leaving for Cuba the next day. Cuba with who? With V. Diddy or what? Like, th this is all crazy. So to see all of this stuff come out, and I escaped by leaving. I had to call the police and everything. I had to leave with the prince. That's another story. From the prince, from that house, I didn't leave with the other girls. I had to get my phone unlocked, of course. But, like, I had to, like, catch a, Uber, a taxi, not even an Uber, a taxi, to another location and then I ended up going to the airport and I ended up leaving because I just felt bamboozled. First I'm getting lied to about how long I'm supposed to stay there. Then you keep talking about I'm supposed to meet this producer but we're not talking about nothing with music but you're talking about going to Cuba. We didn't even do what we were supposed to do in Miami or did we do what we were supposed to do in Miami at this freak off but because I'm not cooperating with what I see and I feel like like that's what the Illuminati and stuff is about like a secret society like they want to see what you allow, what you cool with, and then next thing you know, boom, take that drink, you're drugged. Take that, you're out of it. Take that pill, because everybody was off something. But you had to be being in that environment I mean, like that.